Tubatak Sage, who developed the Gokdoan and Bozdoan, Turkey's first national air-to-air -air missile, continued his studies of the Gokhan and Akdoan missiles. Tubatak Sage's director, Gurjan Okamas stated, the project process continued successfully at the Goktu project. Most of the tests planned within the scope of the project have been completed, but there are some ongoing tests as well. There may be changes in the testing program due to various internal and external factors, but as a result, we maintain our goal of completing the project within this year. The results we have obtained so far have been very successful, the data obtained above expectations. We were out of target range at Gokdoan and Bozdoan, they have abilities that stand out from their peers. In one of the tests, the first supersonic air-to-air -air missile was fired within the scope of this project. The second phase of Project Goktu, production of the first will resume this year, including its integration with various types of F-16s and UAVs. In continuation of the project, we started a preliminary study for the advanced configuration of Bozdoan and Gokdoan. Capabilities such as longer range, more sophisticated data links, and warheads with directed reactive particles are in progress. Using air-to-air -air missiles in UAVs is a different and difficult concept. To that end, our negotiations with Baker continue. The integration of the AESA radar is very important here. I think studies will be completed in parallel on the missile level and AESA radar integration. Meanwhile, Akdoan is being worked on as our internal project. We planned the Akdoan as a mini air-to-air -air missile, but we are also evaluating the return case to close air defense missile for naval platforms. However, according to Gurjan, perhaps the Akdoan or the Bozdoan version will be used for the helicopter platform.